one of the great things about this business in general is you find out, especially with actors, how many other things they do that you would never guess. Like, you, you have a hard-boiled, tough appearance, and, and you're also a painter, mm -hmm. which I love. And your father was an incredibly successful landscape painter, Neil Welliver. Mm -hmm. and, and I read that, that he sort of home art schooled you. Yeah as a kid, and, and he was not the parent that a lot of us are today, where anything your kid does is beautiful and it's, it's creative no. and it's theirs. My dad had a very tough childhood. Now, that being said, he was kind of, uh, he was a bit of a drill sergeant. He was always the smartest guy in the room, but he was very, very direct and sometimes painfully so. So what was that experience like of him teaching you to paint? Well, that was brutal because I asked for it. My parents never, ever said, don't you want to be an artist? Don't you want to be an artist? I mean, I literally came out of the womb and I was, you know, with a crayon in my hand. I mean, my, my siblings and, and myself were, it was our environment. So we were always drawing. Because your mom was an illustrator, Yeah, my too. mom is a fashion illustrator. I learned a lot from my mom, too. But my dad, I was, you know, I put it out there and he said, okay, fine. And he did not do the Captain Kangaroo version of it. I mean, it was <laughs> very, very tough. He would literally erase and draw on my drawings and really? things and, and sort of correct them. And, but he was that way. He was a very controlling guy in that way. But it was his way of teaching and demonstrating. But I learned a, a tremendous amount. So by the time I got into my first year of art school, it was tough because there wasn't anything. You know, I'd started sort of formal training when I was 12. Right. So here I am in my first year of art school, and they couldn't teach me anything. Uh, it's not that I knew everything, but as far, I, I had been given the tools and, and the educational part of that. So what I needed to do ultimately as a painter was to find my own voice, to find my own eye. I have to say, I think it's beautiful that you picked up a paintbrush again, what, 10, 12 yeah, 20, years ago? No, no, yeah, and it's 20, it was, it was 25 years since I'd, I'd painted. What, do you, what was the impetus for that? I was completely disenfranchised and disenchanted with this business. My ex-wife and I decided that we didn't want to raise our kids in LA for whatever reason. And we wanted to go back to the East Coast where we came from. Um, and I think it was sort of a, a fantasy to a certain degree. And there really wasn't very much work uh, there. And so I, I, I sort of got off the racetrack. And I had nothing that was sustaining me artistically, intellectually, I was really floundering and I was in a community in which I had nothing in common. It was mostly, you know, it was stockbrokers and hedge fund guys and right. the dialogue was always kind of, you know, got watered down to if a certain actress's breasts were real or, you know, does this guy really, uh, you know, go with hookers? And I was just kind of going like, Jesus Christ, get me out of here. And I think it was a sort of an artistic, spiritual thing where I kind of went, oh, I'm, I'm really losing my way here. And I sort of resorted to something that, that I really knew, that I, that, that I knew and, and um, with some trepidation. And then as soon as I started, I mean, look, the first 25 paintings were really awful. And I thought, but I didn't matter. I just painted through it. I just went, yeah, it's okay. I'm enjoying it. And I got to a point, at that point, my father was kind of failing to a certain degree. And I took, when I finally got to a place where I was starting to feel good and that, I, that, I, that it was working, I took some of my paintings reluctantly. I remember, were, you, were you afraid? To... Oh, I was. I mean, a couple of my friends said, why would you do that? Why are you going to, particularly as my father was deeply in his descent of alcoholism and was no longer you know, compass mentis and was not terribly charming. And, and um, so it was definitely, you know, walking on, on coals directly into the, in, into the face of a cannon. So I took a few of the paintings that I considered to be the ones that were, that were the strongest of the images that I had done. And uh, I showed them to him and there was a long, and he, I could see him really looking. And that's where I saw that. There, there was a recognition. I went, oh, I know, I know what he's doing. I know that face. I know that face. And he turned to me and he smiled and he had tears in his eyes. And uh, he said, 
someone hands you a torch, careful what end you take. And I, I sort of looked at him, and he said, I'm jealous. These are beautiful, and I can't do it anymore. And I thought, I mean, it's a, it's a heavy, I don't know that I've ever even said that in public before. <laughs>